Hi everyone, I'm Vanessa Virial, Partnerships at World First USA. We're an international payments company helping online sellers pay suppliers abroad and bring revenues home at competitive exchange rates. More than a week after Britain voted to leave the European Union, the pound continues to decline, hitting 31-year lows against the dollar. Political uncertainty and the possibility of weak economic growth are worrying investors, which is driving sterling lower. This has also brought into question London's position as the global finance hub. Commercial property investors are pulling out of the market at worrying levels. Three of the UK's biggest asset managers have frozen almost 12 billion in real estate assets, and analysts are worried that commercial property values in London will take a hit. Investors are converging on safe haven assets, like gold and the Japanese yen, pushing yields on U.S. Treasuries to a record low as fear of a global economic slowdown. These concerns are driven by the Brexit vote and compounded by the Federal Reserve's decision to hold off on a rate hike. Federal Reserve meeting minutes will be released this afternoon. The tone of the meeting will show the Fed's thoughts on the U.S. economy pre-Brexit. A key employment report, which will be released on Friday, could shape the trend of the dollar. We also heard from the Reserve Bank of Australia this week. They left their benchmark interest rates unchanged, which surprised some analysts who expected them to take action. One thing seems sure, we can expect currency markets to remain volatile in the near term, and businesses or individuals with currency requirements should investigate ways to guard themselves in such an uncertain climate. Thanks for watching. Make sure to tune in for next month's global update so you can stay informed on market movements and currency exchange rates.